hello 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 all and welcome to the good witch if you are new welcome welcome if you are returning welcome back you have been greatly missed and i'm so so glad that you are here so we are before we start please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love do that share thing too share like subscribe comment in love all of that good stuff okay um hmm. so we pull cards for today today is whatever day you're seeing it is meant for you to see we do this daily almost daily um so whatever day that you find it or that it finds you is meant for you okay all right again please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love and we're just gonna jump out of the gate with it so spirit is telling me to tell you to trust your intuition the things that you're questioning whether you should or should not do you already internally know the answer and it's not the easiest one so if your intuition is telling you to do something that is out of your norm or out of the box or out of what would typically seem safe for you to do and I mean like emotionally safe financially safe I'm not gonna tell you risk your physical safety that's that's again that's between you and your intuition and what you're up to but your intuition is telling you to step outside of the box and your fear is also talking to you and telling you to stay in it so make sure that we know which one we're listening to our ego is teaming up with our fear because you know we made it through that last thing why would we do anything different to make it through this thing because you want to do more than make it through and you don't want to keep going through the same thing over and over and over again. Let's learn the lesson and do something different. Get out of insane cycles. So here we owe and we are using the Modern Witches Tarot deck, one of my favorite decks. Um, mm. So with the Seven of Pentacles, She has seven pentacles, two behind her and five in front of her. She's looking towards the five in front of her as if to say, should I be focusing on this pot? Or should I be focusing on the two behind me? Now, she feels like she deserves the two. Five is a little excessive. I might not be ready for that yet. I might not be able to care for that yet. Five is being offered, but two is what I'm used to. And some of you are doing this with your finances and some of you are doing this with your relationships. You're settling for the relationship that you have because you're afraid that the relationship that you want does not exist. And I'm here to tell you it does. The finances you want, the relationship you want, the health you want, the it exists. But you have to know that you're creating it now. Let me tell you how. So you also have the high priestess in reverse so we're gonna flip her upside down right side up she was already upside down we're gonna flip her right side up because she is about her business she has the moon at her feet she's in control of her emotions she is prudent and dutiful she is 
she has pomegranates behind her. She is has her laptop on her lap and her high heels on with the moon at her feet. She is ready to accept not only the five in front of her, but the two behind her and multiply it so that those seven become 70. She is ready and she understands that she deserves it and that she um, has earned it, not necessarily in the conventional ways. You earn things by the smiles you give people, by the laughter you gave someone. You'd be surprised at what a random hug you gave someone or a kind word has earned you. Karmically and universally, you've earned it with your vibration. So we're going to talk about this finance relationship situation um, and this love relationship situation where you're not where you want to be in either of these things, right? Or you're where you think you can be, which is not where you want to be because you think that's what you deserve. But every time you dislike something, Let's say you get paid and you dislike the amount of money that you received. You dislike the number that's on your check. You're sending a vibration out to the universe to change that number, that you don't like that number, that that number's too low. Some of you even sent out the vibration that that number was too high because, ooh, I didn't work real hard for this or I don't feel like I earned it, but that's that's another video for another day. Do better. Um. With your love relationships, every time your partner does something that you don't like and you put that vibration of, I don't like that out there, you're telling the universe, I don't like that. Now, when you give attention to these things, you're sending the universe a message that says, Give me more of the same. Give me more of the same. Because not only am I going to look at this check with a number that I don't like, I'm going to look at the action of my loved one that I don't like, but I am going to, I can acknowledge it. Not only am I going to acknowledge it, I am going to incite energy around it. I am going to talk to my mother, brother, cousin, sister, uncle, aunt, friend about it. I am going to write in my journal how I never make enough money, how I never get the love that I want, how I never have the relationship of my dreams, how I never have the job of my dreams. I'm going to write this in my journal. I am going to when this is how you and you you're fussing about it you're sitting in yourself and you're talking to yourself in the mirror i could i deserve better than this or i'm worth more than this or i am i am too much for this situation i am too good for this job i am and that's look all of those sound like they may be positive things. Writing in your journal is great, but what are you writing? What what spells are you casting on yourself? What oh. Talking to yourself and working out your emotions is beautiful, but are you saying positive things while you're doing it? Instead of saying, I hate my partner, I hate, hate my girlfriend. How about... I love my girlfriend when she's thoughtful and I love my girlfriend and she is thoughtful and caring about my feelings. She's going to be even more thoughtful and caring about my feelings as time progresses. Instead of saying, I am too good for this job. I am too good for this relationship. I'm, I am worth more than what I am accepting. 
Do you hear what you just said? That's not telling the universe you want anything different. That's just acknowledging that, you know, I accept nonsense. So keep giving me nonsense. So how about I am worthy of the beautiful relationship of my dreams. I am worthy of being loved the way that I desire to be loved. I am going I, I am being loved the way that I desire to be loved. Trying to teach someone how to love you works way better if you do it with light. Cause they might actually want to do it. Um okay, so I can tell you a little story. We got the time. Bandersnatch says hi. Um, so let's say you're in a relationship with a person and you cook dinner three times a week, right? And they tell you their favorite food is cauliflower. So you go out of your way to incorporate cauliflower into your meals because of the energy that they told you, oh my God, I love cauliflower and I love your cooking, right? So they'll go out of their way to put cauliflower in your meals. Even if you ask and say, hey, can you put, if you ask once. Now, try that same thing and well, that was the right way. The wrong way to do that is somebody's cooking three nights a week. And you say, well, I'm not going to eat it unless you put cauliflower. Unless you make cauliflower with it, everything, nothing else matters. Because that's my favorite thing. Everything else you do doesn't matter. I just want my favorite thing. They're going to be less likely to do that because of the energy behind it. You care not about them or their efforts or whatever they're doing for you. You want them to follow instructions. And most people, very few people, operate that way wholeheartedly. Now they'll do it for a time period, but it won't taste as good and it'll be done with resentment. Change your delivery. If you go to your boss and demand a raise, well, I could be better at my job, but I won't unless you give me a $5 raise. And I'm not going to show you that I can do better until you do that. You ain't going to never get that raise. If I was your boss, you would never get that raise. If you was your boss, you would never get that raise. Imagine you had an employee come tell you that. Now, if you're already doing exemplary work and you do a little bit more for a week or whatever, and then you say, I wouldn't mind having increased responsibilities. I could handle increased responsibilities gladly with a raise with a raise I would be I could I would be able to function better in my space because I would be able to maneuver things in my life differently you'll get a raise you're more likely to anyway but so be mindful of the energies that you put out there the vibrations that you're putting out there the hardest thing in the world is to achieve something positive when you're vibrating so negatively um, I talk to my coaching clients about this often and we rephrase everything they say we rephrase it all to make sure that it reflects what you actually want and not what you have not what you think you have because everything you want is already there you just have to 
it just it's just not tangible yet so we have to make it tangible it's already there you don't have to create it you just have to be in flow in vibration for it to come so while you're looking at your pinnacles trying to see whether you can or cannot have the bigger set of love of finances of health but you're afraid to leave your old behind why well, you can have it all you really can you have to get your emotions under control see clearly feel clearly even if you notice the high priestess if you look at her her hair bow it's right here at her crown chakra where she is setting out the vibration of her higher self she's sending out the vibration of what she wants she's sending out the proper vibrations what vibrations are you sending out let me know in the comments below y'all please remember to like share subscribe and comment and love peace love and light y'all from the good witch